Nigeria is extremely competitive. So what does it take to be a successful director like yourself? Uh, well, I mean, it's um, easy to focus on the successes and mm. forget that I also made one of the biggest bomb, you know, <laughs> films, which was in 2010, Kajola. I was about I to get mean, to that. Yeah, so, okay. And um, for me, it's been a journey, but mostly mm. the journey has been about understanding the audiences, mm -hmm. understanding what they want, understanding what they will pay for, and you give it to them the way they want it. Mm. You know, it's a sure formula for success. Mm. No, I can't help but live at Kajola. It's like you knew that that was going to be my next question. <laughs> Which was really yapped on, on, on Jara way back then. <laughs> Did he? Yes, he was. Wow, <laughs> Helen, how yes, dare Helen. you? It was Helen, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's easy to laugh and criticize. But the fact remains that you were the first to actually attempt the sci-fi genre in Nigeria. Now, what made you that bold? Like, what gave you that confidence to do that? Well, I mean, so I was young, because I was uh, probably 25, 26, mm -hmm. and I had done all sorts, you know, I've been an editor, a cameraman, VFX person, and all that. And just like every young person today, you always come into the industry with a brush, we're going to change everything, what are they doing? <laughs> you know, we know better than everyone. There was that genuine, I really wanted to do something different. different. But regardless of what happened to the film, that intention never left, you know. So I always wanted to make a statement in any film, you know, that I did. I was probably just a bit over ambitious or overreaching then, but I'm glad those were, you know, critical attributes that I needed going forward. Speaking of, of uh, filmmakers now, today on the show we're celebrating, you know, successful Nigerian filmmakers. So apart from yourself, what other or uh, which other filmmaker would you say impresses you? You know, they have that power to captivate and hold and give audiences what they want. You know, leave audiences uh, anticipating their next movies. It's a tough question because if you ever get to make a film, you're already a hero in yeah. Nigeria. Like, Let me to you. <laughs> like, you, you've seen that magic work where audiences are like, you know what, I need to see his next movie. So I, would, I, I would say that um, one of my biggest inspirations was um, Uncle Tunde Kelani. You know, oh, back yes. in the days, you know, his films were the films, you know, mm. I cared about mm. because he used films as a metaphor for society. So yes. he was a big um, influence in the way I thought about making films. Kunle um, uh, Afolayo actually was also a good trigger because I he made a very bold film with Figurine. Figurine. Yeah, he did everything no one was doing at that time. At that time. And um, there are a couple of you know, new voices right now uh, that are there. I think a particular one that you know, everybody's responding to that I like would also be Kemi Adetiba and her recent King of Boys, uh, largely because you know, she challenged the norms. She did everything that nobody else was doing. And it worked. So for me, Maybe because there's a little bit of a rebel in me, I can I tend to fall like in love rebels. with filmmakers who challenge, you know, uh, uh, the, norms the norms of how we should tell stories and the kind of stories we should tell.